Okay, when it comes to your business tax returns, it can get a little complicated. So we're gonna talk about the three types uh, of tax returns that you might have for your business. Now there's actually four, but I don't think anyone here is gonna be a C corporation, so we're just gonna put that one to the side. So let's start off with the first one. It's a sole proprietorship that is filed on a Schedule C. So that is just you, you haven't really done anything in terms of like organizing, except you can also be an LLC and file on Schedule C. Okay, it's a little confusing. The second one is a partnership tax return that is filed on Form 1065. It's a completely separate tax return than your personal return. That is where you've gone into partnership with somebody, so it's you and somebody else. You can also be an LLC and file a partnership tax return, okay? So it's the LLC just has more than one member. There's two or more. The last one we're gonna talk about is the S Corporation. That is filed on Form 1120S. That is, again, a separate tax return from your personal tax return. And it is where you are either incorporated or you're an LLC and you have elected to be treated as an S corporation for tax purposes. So those are the three that we are going to go look at on how to identify if those returns match up with what your net income in your QuickBooks Online account says. All right, so we're looking at your Schedule C. This is on your personal tax return reported on the Form 1040. So you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna find where it says Schedule C or the business activity that is yours. You're gonna to scroll to the bottom of that page, you're gonna look at line 31. It's going to say the net income or loss for that business activity. You're gonna take that number, you're going to add line 24B, if there's anything there, that is your deductible meals. Now, meals are typically subject to 50%. Therefore, you have to add that other 50% back into that calculation in order to be able to compare it to your QuickBooks Online account. Once you go into QuickBooks Online, you're gonna run the same reporting period. It's probably cash basis, so make sure that's toggled there. Scroll down, look at your net income, and those two numbers should match. If they don't, that's a big red flag. All right, the next return that is up is the Form 1065. That's a partnership return. It is separate from your personal return. So it's a separate filing altogether. You are going to look at that. You're going to go to page five and partway down page five, there's a second section there that says Schedule M. You're gonna look at line one. It's going to say net income per books. And if you take that number and you compare it to your uh, like that exact number, look at your account in QuickBooks Online and for the same reporting period for your profit and loss, if it says net income, those numbers should match. If they don't, red flag. Our last one here is the S Corporation. That's filed on Form 1120S. It's a separate tax return altogether from your personal return, so you'll have two tax returns to file if you file this one. Similar to the partnership return, you're going to go to page five. You're going to look at the top of the page, though. It says Schedule M1. You're going to look at where it says net income or loss per books. You're going to take that amount. You're going to go look at your QuickBooks Online account, run the profit and loss report, scroll down to your uh, net income, and those two should match. If they don't, red flag. Fixing any of these, if you had a red flag, opens up a whole new can of worms that we're not going to get into. My goal for this series is for you to be able to identify if something is wrong and then seek the help that you need. Now you can go and ask your tax repairer or your bookkeeper or you can go to our link in our bio and reach out to Rachel, schedule a call and see if there is any way that we can help you out.